news. Now we're going to begin this hour with another <laughs> exclusive interview with one of the greatest athletes of all time, Serena Williams. The tennis legend is showing off a new talent, golf, in this year's Michelob Ultra Super Bowl commercial. Here's a look. Well, we're waiting. Only on CBS Mornings, we sat down with Serena Williams for a wide-ranging conversation about tennis and her family, what's she doing these days, and we caught up with her and her husband, Alexis Ohanian, on their farm in Florida for a glimpse of their lives, or her life specifically, after tennis. Be the ball. What does it take to get Serena Williams to do a Super Bowl commercial? Well, what it's does not it take? A, so first of all, I have to have a genuine like for the product, right? Mm -hmm. Second of all, like what are you doing outside of that? Is there something special? And that's what I love about Michelob Ultra. They really are really animate about making sure there's gender equality when it comes, equity, I should say, when it mm -hmm. comes to male and female, in particular women athletes and men athletes. So this That's is reflected a, in that commercial. Too. It is reflected in that commercial. And this is the second year in a row that they have the same number of female athletes or women athletes as they do male athletes. When I looked at the commercial, Serena, and the way you swung the golf club, uh. and I remember the Vogue letter, and you said you're not retiring, you're transitioning and evolving. Is this your way of telling us you're evolving into golf? Because you certainly <laughs> had the outfit ready. I am 100% not evolving into golf. I last met up with Serena Williams at her final U.S. Open. She has changed the game in so many ways. You know, the day after the U.S. Open, and you wake up and you're, you're done with tennis, as we know it in that form. What was that morning like? Because I woke up that morning thinking, I wonder what Serena's doing. That's I wonder how question. Serena is feeling. That's a really good question. I've never, no one's asked me that yet. Um, I was actually not very happy at all, not be, just because of the result. I was there to keep going and to keep winning. And um, yeah, I wasn't, it was more or less like, I can't believe I let that match go more than anything. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously it was a great moment and a great memory, and I've never felt. I don't feel like I've left anything, but I just felt like, what could I have done better that day? When Serena revealed her decision to step away from tennis in Vogue last year, she wrote this. If I have to choose between building my tennis resume and building my family, I choose the latter. She also shared that her daughter Olympia wants to be a big sister. To this day, she's like, now she prays. <laughs> prays for a... Now she prays for a sibling. She's like, and the other day, she's like, everyone has a brother or a sister but me. And I'm like, Olympia, <laughs> I'm working on it. Mommy worked a little too long in tennis, so I'll stay a little longer than expected. But yeah. And so now that you've, you've, it's been a minute since you've been off the tennis court, you said you still like to win. You still are a competitor. Yeah. So what does winning look like to you these days? Um, winning to me, just picking out the best deals to invest in, you know? And the tennis champion's venture capital firm, it's called Serena Ventures, is focused on funding founders with diverse backgrounds. We need people like me, we need women writing the checks, because I really am a big believer in like attracts like. Investing is something Serena and her husband, Alexis Ohanian, founder of venture capital firm 776 and social site Reddit, have in common. Okay. These days, a couple spends their time here at their South Florida farm, where they grow fruits and vegetables and raise chickens. Serena, do you want to pick one up? Uh, I've never touched them. A mini horse that their daughter Olympia named Daisy and a steer named... Antonio Enrique Cortez uh, Leche. Serena, that's the name of the cow? I missed a couple of them. Antonio who? Antonio <laughs> for Antonio Banderas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enrique for Enrique Iglesias. Okay. Uh, Cortez, because it was Spy, we were watching the Spy Kids movie. <laughs> okay, yes. And that was the last name <laughs> in the Spy Kids movie. <laughs> so I, I let the kids do you the just name. just call it Leche. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis, I don't know if, if you know this. The first time when I heard about you, Serena said, I said, oh, how are, how's it going? Who are you dating? She goes, oh, I'm say? dating this tech nerd. You've probably never heard of him. That's what, do you remember saying that? She said, I'm dating this tech nerd. You've probably never heard of him. I said, well, what's his name? And she said, your name? I go, 
I know him. He's great. <laughs> He's actually one of the good you. guys. I appreciate you vouching for me. What makes this work, Alexis, for you? And Serena, what makes this work for you? Ooh. He is able to handle me. <laughs> are you, are you a lot to handle? You're, is yes she a lot? No. no, I'm very easy and I'm very relaxed and chill, uh -huh. but I'm somehow super intense and I like things really perfect. Why does mm. it work for you, this relationship? Because I knew I had met someone that I was never going to outgrow. Oh. And more importantly, I knew I had met someone who was oh. always going to explicitly, believe me sometimes, or implicitly challenge me to be better. She's a ride or die. And you all don't see a lot of it, because thankfully I don't do my work in public, but I- I'm She's ride or die? Hunter, oh, a thousand percent. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's so lovely to sit here at the place you call the farm. The tennis court is right there. What do you think when you look at a tennis court now? I was wondering. Yeah, in this particular tennis court, I see me out there. You I do. see me training. I see me grinding. So you can look at it, yeah. Serena, not feel a pang of, oh. I feel relief when I look at the court sometimes because. Relief how? I feel like I'm so happy I don't have to train for two hours a day. I feel more pain. Um, just like looking at old pictures. Of then yourself. I, yeah, looking at old pictures or championships or something like that, I'm like, oh, I miss that. Or that's when I feel like different. Is um, the door open just a sliver? Uh, it's hard to say. I would say no. Okay. For, for now, no, because it's just, I've literally given my whole life to tennis and it's time for me to give my life to something else. Yeah. And then my dad is like, Serena, you should play one more slam. You should play like two more grand slams. Or and I'm like, Dad, like, stop, stop. This is not. <laughs> but you know, I came across some old video. I'm going to run in this piece. It's the sweetest piece of video. But don't hit that racket on the ground. <laughs> I was smashing my racket even back then. <laughs> you can play tomorrow, next year, and the year after that. What's important? What's important in your home? Family. Family is important. Yeah, family is important in your home. You shouldn't be out here getting, getting disgusted because of a tennis ball, right? Oh, that's so sweet. Your little girl voice. Yeah. And that's why you wanted people to see King Richard, because yeah. we did get to see him in another light. We told it. This is literally the light that that was the truth. King, King Richard was absolutely true. I know, and then King Richard had that moment at the Oscars. Mm -hmm. What did you feel about that? I thought if, it was such an... Um, an incredible film, mm -hmm. and I feel that there was an incredible film after that with Questlove mm -hmm. um, that kind of was overshadowed. Was overshadowed, but I also feel that I've been in a position where I've been under a lot of pressure and I've made a tremendous amount of mistakes. And I'm the kind of person that's like, I've been there, I've made a mistake. It's not the end of the world. We're all perfect and we're all human, and let's just be kind to each other. And I think that's, mm. so that's often forgotten a lot. You tweeted recently, allowing yourself to relax was harder than you ever imagined. Yeah. It's hard to relax for you? It's so hard for me to relax. I don't know how to relax. <laughs> Really? I literally don't. Like I am I have to schedule it in my schedule. <laughs> do you? I'm not kidding. I have to schedule relax or I won't do it. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had my schedule in a while, so mm -hmm. I need to put it back in there. Well, we were totally relaxed hanging out with with uh, Serena and her family that day. She also says if she'd been a man and was in the health that she's in, she'd probably still be playing tennis because she loves it so much. But family is also a very top priority. But I love that moment with her dad. I think oh, it showed so a different side of him that many people didn't really understand Richard Williams. She's totally in love with her father, and he's still calling and giving her tips about what she should do and how she should do it. But she's very happy. They're very happy together. And I loved Alexis's answer, too. He he finally met someone that he couldn't outgrow. Yeah. Isn't that nice? I'm going to yeah. text that to Katie later today. It's yeah, that you look more in a partner. I thought it was very They sweet. seem to have a nice rhythm. They do. And they're working on it. She says, we're working on it. We're working on it. And when it's when it's time, she, is, she will share that, too. I like the name she came up with uh, for the cows, as well. Very <laughs> yeah. creative. With a Spanish accent, too. <laughs> not yeah. bad. Not bad. Nicely done. All right. Yeah.